Hi guys, I'm here in Sweden with Martin and you're watching Fish Spotting. Here in Sweden we're gonna show you some pelagic style fishing and also some shallow fishing in uh, some uh, up in the archipelago. We're gonna fish lake and archipelago, two different uh, spots. And uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy the show. Okay, this is a better fish, I think so. <sighs> this is the fat one. <laughs> fish on. Ooh, nice fish on. Oh, good fight. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> the last night. I didn't feel a lot. Feel that. Pelagical yeah. pike. Awesome. Hello guys, welcome to Fish Spotting. We are here in Sweden. I was invited uh, for some uh, fall and almost winter fishing <laughs> by uh, Martin. We are in the Stockholm area fishing a freshwater lake. So Martin, what are we targeting? Pelagic uh, fishing? We, we are targeting pelagic fishing, uh, pelagic pike. And uh, it is a clear water lake uh, with very, very big depth. Um, the weather today is actually quite good. The temperature was quite low this, this night, but when we do pelagical fishing, this doesn't matter that much. You know, very often uh, people are scared about the cold front yeah. and cold uh, winter, but uh, in a lake you have a kind of what I call safety zone. Exactly. And the safety zone has a deep zone because um, the temperature, the temperature is, stable. is going to be stable. stable no yeah. matter uh, the cold front, it's going to it's going to be a stable activity in deeper water. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna search for. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, man. Need still a net. fish. No, we don't need a net. Okay. First, First fish, fish of the day. Of the day. <laughs> we got a lot of bait in the area. This is a small one, not what we are searching for, but still a fish. Uh, we fish towards the rock. Uh, I've just uh, uh, cast my lure just next to the rock and let it sink and retrieved it for like a meter or two and then the, the fish took the bait. Okay, the first one for today. A real small one, but yeah, still a fish. Bye bye. Well done, man. Thanks. That's uh, just the start. <laughs> just the start. Today, I don't think we will catch big numbers, but I think we'll catch a big one. Yeah, I sign right away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, so we're gonna search new area. Okay, so. We, we found a, a big school of bait fish. Here you see some nice fish underneath and really huge load of bait fish. We're gonna try to find the end of it. Position the boat above this big school. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big oh, one. Oh. Look, all packed. Yeah. Eight meters of bait fish. Uh, the yeah, problem it's... here is that this can be too much bait fish. We need to find the edges of this. Yeah, so all, all the bay is packed. And uh, here we have the deep part. You see, we, we reach the deep part and again we lose the, the bait fish. So all the bait fish are packed on the 8 meters and then we position the boat on the 12 and we're going to fish really outside. You anchor? Yep. Yeah. Six degrees now, so it's a bit warmer than the last stop. That's interesting. Good, Patrick. Yeah, man. 
That feels good. <laughs> Little bit of sun really nice. and one small active fish. You know, all fish are fun. Yeah, all fish are fun. A little bit of sun, uh, and we take the opportunity to change uh, the color immediately. And then I, um, I really like to use uh, glitter color because they take the, the little bit of light that we have at that moment and they reflect it. So it's an extra attraction to your bait. And uh, I pay attention to these small details. Now the, the sun is going to be uh, covered by the clouds again and I'm going to change to some more natural and darker color and more contrast like uh, like a brown shiner for example that will be my next move probably in uh, within a few minutes okay so right now we're fishing uh, at 12 meters of depth and we have a lot of bait fish in the area so and we see a lot of big fish as well yeah so this is looking really good yeah so uh, with the fish finder we try to locate um, the edge of this uh, bowls of uh, bait fish and we try to really target uh, those bowls and fish at the edge of it. It's a little bit more easy to find active fish that are going to go inside the bowls and so our uh, baits are more visible. Fish on! Ooh, nice fish on! Whoa, good fight! Look at this! Look at this! Nice Fred! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, man. <laughs> the blue, the blue color is really killing it now. So the rigging I've been using uh, today a lot is uh, what I call inside rigging. So you're gonna put your leader inside the bait and hang your treble hook next to the tail at the end. Or you can put it on the belly as you, as you wish. So I'm gonna show you what I use. So you plug your jig head directly to your bait and you use one stinger that normally you will plug outside we're gonna hide it inside and for that we're gonna use a boily needle that's a carp fisherman that are using this tool so you're gonna punch the needle through the nose all the way down inside the body and then gets out exactly where you want your hook and now I'm going to tide here the stinger to the boiling needle, I lock it and then I put it back inside and then I get my stinger ready to fish. So the good thing with this rig is that it will always stand in the right position and for the short bite I get a better hook set because this hook is hanging right beneath the tail. I think you can try it and uh, you will think, you will see that uh, very often when you get short bite, you get better results. Don't hesitate, use it at home, you will love it. So now we're gonna fish really, really close from the wall from the, this stone wall and uh, we're gonna target uh, pike that are in between the bowls of bait fish that are standing there yeah. and the rocks. Those pike live there and they use the stone walls to chase the bait fish against them and, as, and trap them. Yeah, they trap them yeah. and you get good experience on this fishing. Yeah. 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 And we fish, uh, it's a 10 meter drop off right a few meters outside of the stones. So that's really what we target, those really steep walls 
more easy for them to push the bait fish on the wall yeah. and grab them. Exactly. Coming. Oh, good. Nice. Oh, <laughs> it went off. You see? Parallel yeah. to the shoreline. Nice. Yeah. Exactly what uh, we was expecting. Fish standing close from the rocks, chasing all the bait fish that are moving in this channel. Exactly. I used this one, really natural color, similar to the bait fish here. Yeah, all gray shiner. All gray shiner, really good color. Weighted with a this is 25 grams jig head and uh, I cast it a little just parallel to the shoreline and yeah, tit the bait, really good. Good job. Good, nice and fat. Yeah. Really nice, good. Beautiful fish. This is what we are You can see the belly yeah. in it. Yeah, I've been the feeding a lot. filled up. So nice. Good. Whenever you call my name, I'ma come running fast as a runaway train. I can pick you up in a plane, go up and away. I'ma save the day, you can count on me and I'll be there. Faster than the speed of what it shoots through the air. No mask, no gate to wear, but I can be a hero. Mm. The only superpower is this will of ours. It's like asking an inmate to kill an hour. Cause that ain't nothing, so stand up for something you believe in. Come on, put your hands up. Stop searching for answers, cause we all stand up. Okay, well done. That Thank you. The fish with a plan. We plan to fish a, a the rose cliff. Yeah, exactly. And skip rocks. Yeah. And uh, that works. Yeah. In open water, fish, uh, bait fish can take any direction. Yeah. Here, the predators are going to force them against the wall and get an easy meal. Exactly. So that's a key point, use it at home. Yeah. Gotta watch your feet here, close to the edge now. Don't walk with your head down, don't worry about letdowns. Cause ain't nobody falling if we all put our all in. I can hear you calling, calling, I'll be there. Whenever you call my name, I'ma come running fast as a runaway train. I can pick you up in a plane, go up and away. I'ma save the day, you can go. Standing ovation, high appropriate. So and so don't believe, no time to notice it. I'm too busy hustling, using my capabilities. You'll be human agility, you the source of my energy. So we get some uh, good action. Yeah. Finally, we didn't expect that with this weather. We and also, them. this type of fishing is usually quite slow. So this is really nice. Yeah. We go from 6, 8 down to 12. And uh, really, this uh, this shoulder, yeah, with deep a lot of shoulder, bait fish is holding well. the bait fish right to the edge, and uh, behind we are, we get some uh, good pike, yeah, active, really nice. Let's take another one. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, so we are starting to get closer to the end of the day. Sun is going down and yeah, the pike are really biting now. And you get it right, right outside, huh? Yeah. Long time between the bites and yeah, they are decent. Every one we got so far. So now we're gonna release this fish and it will become bigger. Woo! <laughs> nice. Ooh. Good job. Good job. Yeah. So we have been anchored up at the same spot for a while now. 
the fish are biting but not often and um, that's often the case while you're fishing pelagic fishing the bites are not coming really often but the fish are often quite good you often need to spend a lot of time on the same spot um, the spot that you really believe in because you need to wait for the fish to to get active and uh, when they get active you often get a quite decent pike <laughs> Good, Frederick! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I was coming towards a boat, so very, very close, and then I get the first nibbling, you know, again, you know, bing, bing, bing. I wait, then Took the I, get a, I get a strike. That fight was like 10 <laughs> seconds long, really nice. <laughs> this is a fat one. <laughs> Nice, Fred. Hey, man. <laughs> man, that's a day. So nice. That's what we love. Good, uh, fat. Pelagical yeah. pike. Good tip you, do, you give, you know. Don't move too much. Yeah. I mean, fish are there. and uh, They will bite. Wait for the bite, get one, wait for the next one. Yeah. They are there. At actually, they are feeding heavily on those uh, bait fish. Yeah. So they're gonna come and come, keep coming again on the same spot. Exactly. So be patient. Really good. One good tip. Let's release it. Yeah, man. See you next time. Nice, Frederick. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> I use uh, this new gun key head, the G Flip. It's an articulated uh, jig head. So a J Flip is very simple. One eye to attach your line, one eye to attach your bait, and the small snap you remove, you put your bait into the line, and then clip it again inside the weight. So here we have the lure with the shallow rig that I want to use with the G flip. So you remove the snap from the G flip. <laughs> You take it in, yeah. And now you just put back the weight on your snap. And that's ready. It's super strong, very easy to use. And you add some extra mo movement, so it gives you a really nice motion in the water. It's something we, uh, we adapt from uh, some uh, trout fishermen that are fishing in Russia and uh, we found it easy, e handy and then uh, we decided to adapt it to uh, pike fishermen, perch and, and zander as well. That's the G-Flip, remember it. One cool thing also with the G-Flip, it's here, I, I felt that uh, I need a little bit of extra weight and then I chain them. I put two, 110, 124 and like this I can fish deeper and in no time I can adjust my fishing. So the wind picks up, there's a little bit of more stream and I wanted more weight. Now let's catch some more. Okay, this is a better fish, I think so. Same spot. I'm ready. <sighs> Bring Let's it, baby. see now. Bring it to yes. Me. Nice. <laughs> High five, man. Again, again, again. We're just dripping them up now. Yeah. It's a lot of wind. The wind is picking up, and the sun is going down. So, and the fish are really biting now. Yeah. Worth. We have to wait. Yeah, and again on the same lure. This is really yeah. a good color now. The winter is around the corner and they're really starting to feed up now. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. They are all in the same size. Decent pike. Really nice. Yeah, a lot of fun. Now let this pike swim back to become even bigger than this. Whoa. <laughs> 
Ooh, nice. Yeah, right now they really take the opportunity to feed heavily before the winter and uh, get fat. It's uh, a key time for them and we, we use this. What you need to search for pelagic fishing is a good area with a lot of bait fish and so fish around and that's usually a good spot. We are standing on a depth around 30 meters and we, we fish the baits at around five to four to five meters and yeah it's really cool how the fish are standing pelagic and bite. It's very important that we fish right above yeah. uh, the pike. Exactly. You don't, you, you don't want your bait to fish underneath the pike. You need to have them to rise yeah. to get your bait. And we are seeing a lot of pikes at around six meters. So that's the reason why we are trying to place the bait somewhere between four to five or three to five meters. It went full towards the boat, okay? <laughs> it went just straight for the boat, okay? Oh, it's tangled up. That's why it felt a little bit bigger. Nice. Good job. Good job. Uh, continue fishing now because yeah. they are biting. Not a very big one, but you see it's really fat. Really fat. Really, really fat. Uh, we are standing in a big school of bait. Uh, all the way up to the surface. We have around 10 or 11 meet meters depth. So let's put this one back so it will grow and get bigger. <laughs> Good! Yep. Take one more now, Fredrik. Yeah. So to be able to fish with the lure at the right uh, depth, what we do is you cast and you start counting. And uh, Little by little you evaluate how deep they are, so you're going to count first for 10 seconds for example and then start to retrieve, make some pause, retrieve and then the next time after 10 minutes go down to 20 and then do the same. And little by little like this you will find the right depth and you must all the time remember how deep you was when you get your bite. That will indicate you how much uh, second you need to count before you start to retrieve and try to control your retrieve to get it as flat as possible. Bait fish are passing again. Yeah, all the time. You see here? We are sitting on the same place for quite a while now, but we can still see a lot of bait fish passing around, small groups of bait fish passing in front of the Ooh, point. Oh, got one! Again, fish on, fish on. Uh, nice take. One more, the same size, decent pike. Thank you, Frederick. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> totally insane. So nice. I cannot believe the amount of good sized fish we have here. People really think that you have to drive far to have good fishing. But if you do it the right way, you can have really good fishing here in Stockholm. Once again, the whole grey China. Very often that uh, when it gets dark that uh, most of the fishermen come home but very often if you really push a little bit into the dark uh, you're gonna have some really nice bite at that moment. It's, uh, uh, it's very often a key point especially uh, when there has been no activity during the day the changing in the light might activate them so uh, watch out for, for that moment. It can deliver some fish and today that's the case. Uh, especially uh, when there is a high fishing pressure in, in the water 
uh, they start eating at night so that's why you really need to try to go fishing also during the late hours and not only during the day push it a little bit longer and that often gives you a couple of good bites at the end nice oh look at this a butterfish under the school of bait standing on eight meters and the bait are from three to six meters yeah, I think we really need to be around five to six yeah. meters right above the, the bait fish fish on oh I don't know the size yeah I see it I see it yeah Nice! Good! That's nice one! <laughs> the last light! Yeah! <laughs> the last light! That's awesome! 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 I think they like the Oro China! Look how deep it is! Yep! Nice fish! Nice fish! Beautiful! Let's release this one! Nice thread. All right. Oh, you're yep. all wet. I like the articulation. Give the extra movement in the water. So, yeah. So, thanks, Martin. Thanks to you as well. A good, a good day on the water together. A really, a really good day. That was uh, real fun. I hope uh, you, you enjoy it as well. And tomorrow we change the plan. Yeah. Weather is going to change. So we're going to head uh, to the archipelago around archipelago. Stockholm. Exactly. And uh, then we're going to fish shallow water. Not pelagic anymore. No, not pelagic. So let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Go, man. So today, new stop. Yeah. Archipelago. Okay. First fish, and it is quite decent one. Oh, fish up! <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what a strike! And the net. What a nice strike! <laughs> man. Good man. Yeah. <laughs>